Hey everyone, it's Riley, and today I wanna to walk you guys through the process of making DIY stickers. So the stickers that we'll be making today are completely from scratch. You do not need a printer of any kind, a sticker printer, any sort of sticker machine or like a Cricut or Silhouette or anything like that. You do not need, we're gonna be making this with really basic supplies. You probably already have all of them at your house, but if not, a quick trip to the dollar store will get you all stocked up. So before I got like super into bullet journaling and started buying and acquiring more stickers, this was like the only way that I ever had stickers. I never really bought my own stickers. I would just make ones when I wanted them. And I still really love doing this. It is obviously more time consuming than just opening up a store-bought pack of stickers, but it's so fun because you can totally customize them. And I especially love it for things like sending to your friends in pen pal letters, or maybe you want a custom sticker to like stick on your water bottle or your laptop or a guitar case or something like that. I feel like this is just a really fun way to make stickers for those things. So I do just want to issue one sort of warning before we actually get into it. Um, and that warning is to test your tape. So to make these stickers, we will be using packing tape as like the main adhesive. So if you do want to use these stickers on something like other than paper, you know, something you might want to eventually peel them off of, like a water bottle or like a laptop or something like that, I would recommend before you even make the stickers, take whatever packing tape you have that you're gonna use and just test it out on that surface and make sure it doesn't do any damage because I know I've used a variety of different tape brands for this in the past and some of them are really gentle. Some of them will never ever come off or will leave like really sticky residue, which you can hopefully get off with Goo Gone or something. But anyways, just please test out your tapes so that you don't end up ruining whatever surfaces you're gonna put these stickers on. So let's get into the sticker making. First of all, you'll want to grab your supplies. So you're gonna need whatever kind of paper you want. I'm just gonna be using basic white printer paper. You'll need something to draw on that paper with. I've got some markers, a black pen, and a white gel pen with me. You're also gonna need scissors. We're gonna have to do a bunch of cutting. There's like multiple stages of cutting. So you'll need scissors, you'll need that packing tape, and the last thing that you'll need is parchment paper. I have tried this with wax paper in the past and it did not work nearly as well. So if you don't have parchment paper, run over to the store and grab some. And if you do decide to make stickers using this method, I would love for you to share them with me over on Instagram. I would be so excited to see how all of your stickers turn out. So the first step of making stickers is just to start with your design. So I'm gonna be drawing some little cacti. If you're looking for ideas of some simple doodles that you can use for stickers or pen pal letters or your bullet journal or whatever, feel free to copy these little doodles. They're really easy, but you definitely don't need to do it just with marker and printer paper like this. If you wanted to paint something with watercolor or gouache, or even if you have a normal printer and you wanted to print off an image, or you wanna use something else that you already have, like a picture from real life, or maybe even some like pressed flowers or something like that, you can really take anything flat pretty much and turn it into a sticker. I'm just gonna be doodling my own stickers today. So when I draw, I always love to go in with marker first and then pen. I know, I feel like that's backwards for some people, but that's just my preference. So I made all of the kind of main shapes there with a brown and a green Tombow and now I'm just outlining all of it. So often when I make stickers, instead of just making like two at a time like this, I'll make a full sheet pretty much. So I'll take a piece of printer paper like this and fill it at least halfway, maybe all the way with designs that all fit a similar like color palette or a similar theme. And then I have kind of a whole pack of stickers. That does take quite a while and it can get kind of tedious towards the end. But just making this set of two stickers for myself took me about 15 minutes. So if you saw, I took a thinner fine liner and added some little like needles coming off of the cacti and some squiggly lines going across. And now I'm just adding a little bit of accent lines with my white gel pen. 
um, just kind of beside the black lines and some designs on the pots. So now that I've got the designs ready, it's time to turn them into stickers. And this is where there's quite a bit of cutting. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to cut around all of your designs. And I like to cut pretty close to the design. I don't leave a whole lot of white space around it, um, but that's just a matter of personal preference. Now we're going to pull out the parchment paper. So here I've got my roll of parchment paper that I just grabbed from the kitchen and I'm just going to cut off a piece that will be big enough to fit both of my stickers on it. And this part can be a little bit awkward just because you know your parchment wants to curl and the packing tape that we're going to pull out in a sec just wants to stick to everything. So I find that it's a lot easier to work in smaller sections like two to three stickers at a time instead of trying to do all of your stickers all at once. So I'm just pulling out a piece of packing tape here that again will just be long enough to fit both of my stickers on it and I'm going to tape it right onto the parchment paper. So the parchment paper is going to act as just like the backing to the sticker, the part that we're going to peel off and this piece of tape here will be the main like adhesive for our sticker. So now that I've got those two things stuck together, I'm going to put my designs on top of that piece of tape and sandwich them between two pieces of tape. So just take another piece of packing tape and layer it over top of the designs. So now that you've got that, you just wanna press it down quite well, get rid of any bubbles, and especially like right around the edges where you cut out your designs, you'll wanna make sure that the two pieces of tape are really stuck together because that's what's going to keep your stickers intact and even kind of like waterproof them to an extent. You wanna make sure that it's totally sealed off around your design and then you cut out again. So this time when you cut it out, you do want to leave a bit of an edge. You can see I left about maybe half a centimeter or just less and that's to make sure that the two layers of tape stick together. You don't wanna to cut too close because then the two layers of tape can easily come apart. So now I've got my stickers, you can easily pull the parchment off the back and reveal that sticky surface just like that. So like I said at the beginning, you can stick them onto whatever. I didn't really know what to stick mine onto, but I did wanna give a demonstration. So I just found this jar that I've been using to store pens in and I'll put one of the stickers onto there just like that. And then I also had a little mini journal lying around that I decided to use the other sticker on. So let me know in the comments what you think about this sticker tutorial and tag me on Instagram if you make some of your own. Thank you all so much for joining me to make some stickers today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next video.